So what is creativity? I think the general assumption is either we were born with it or we weren't. Some people are creative, some people aren't. That's just the way it is. But I'd like to look at that a little more deeply and also broaden our definition of what creativity it is. It's not necessarily just something having to do with the arts, with painting a picture, with writing a song, for example. I'd like to suggest that we can also be creative as cooks, as gardeners, as playing with our children. Be creative in all kinds of ways in life. And so how, how is that sense accessed? Back in Greek and Roman times, it was considered to be a gift from the gods. They had a, they had a name for the gods. In, in Greek, it was daemon. In Latin, it was actually genius. Something outside of ourselves as a separate individual that would inspire us to be creative. And somewhere over the last couple thousand years, that sense that it's somehow beyond us as individuals has been lost to a large extent. And we consider creative people to be geniuses in themselves. He's a genius, she's a genius. So the sense of it being a gift from something beyond, something larger than ourselves uh, has been lost along the way to our detriment, I think, because then it feels like it is something that we're trying to do by our own bootstraps. And we're trying to squeeze this creativity out of ourselves. Whereas the older interpretation of it being a gift, a muse from, from the beyond that inspires us has been lost. And yet it's still available if we choose to see it that way, if we choose to be available rather than forcing it, if we choose to be receptive to see what arises within us without demanding, just waiting with curiosity, with alertness, and allowing that space to arise within ourselves, and then learning to act out of that space. So I'm not saying that technical skills aren't required, certainly for painting, dance, music, technical skills are clearly needed. But we've all met people that are skilled technically and still not creative. Still not open to that source of inspiration from beyond. In inspiration to, to inspire, it's the same root source as respiration, to breathe in and breathe out again. So it's really that, that that rhythm to be willing to receive uh, into these into these bodies into this world and to respond to that inspiration with action with creative thought with creative movement and at the end there's no real separation it's like dance Dancing, dancer, there's no separation. So it's just being open to that which is beyond our control. It's not something that we can demand that be there. It's not something that um, we can manage. Um, it's, it's something that we can uh, respect, honor, appreciate, be in gratitude for and receive when it's given. 
and I hope that elicits some sense of what we can mean when we talk about creative action in this world. I hope you enjoyed the talk today and I look forward to talking with you soon.